what is going on guys so today is my sunday video which normally i do a video where i just do push-ups or i talk about push-ups or i do some kind of tips on push-ups or something related to that but today i'm gonna do something a little bit different you guys always ask me to do something uh different than push-ups even though that's kind of like the core of why i do a sunday video and today i'm gonna talk about running and something that a lot of you guys forget whenever it comes to you trying to improve your running Now what is it that you forget, or at least a lot of you forget whenever you're trying to improve your running? People will send me messages all the time, they're trying to improve their run, what should they do? Or people will send me messages and they're like, hey Matt, you know, I've been running and I've been pushing it really hard and I'm getting shin splints, my legs are hurting, like what should I do? What do you recommend that I do? And a lot of times people, you know, they're just getting into physical fitness, they're not really sure about equipment or anything like that, they're going to a gym, they're going outside, they're pushing it real hard. They're working really hard at running, whether they're you know, at the level where they're doing over 10 miles a week or maybe they're not there yet and they're just trying to get started and they get injured or something like that because they don't have the proper footwear. And this is my most recent pair of shoes. This is the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 18, 2018 shoe. So this is their, I guess, newest uh, running shoe as far as the Adrenaline style. And I've had this shoe for about two weeks now. And one of the things I recommend to a lot of people is invest in a good pair of running shoes. The reason that I say invest is because if physical fitness is something that you're gonna get into, if joining the military is something that you're going to do, running is gonna be a big part of that. And investing in a good pair of running shoes rather than just your normal walking around pair or the pair that you've just had for a long time and they're running shoes and they're worn out, the soles are worn down, whatever, it's gonna be an investment because you are not going to run the risk as much of injuring you know, your shins, your knees, all your joints and stuff like that. It's gonna make running a little bit more of an enjoyable experience because the shock, right? So every time your foot hits the ground, so every time you take a step, you're basically falling forwards and your front foot is actually taking all the, I guess, jolt of your entire body weight hitting the ground. So you need a good pair of shoes to help minimize that effect on your joints. So in comparison here, I have a, uh, a Nike shoe that I wear, and this is a little bit more flat on the bottom, right? So you have the Brooks, the running shoes, you can see you know, they have some cushion or whatever on the bottom. And I guess if you can compare both of them right here, the cushion on the bottom of this is obviously not so much. You know, the bottoms, you know, this is really just flat here. This one's got a little bit more grip and stuff to it. Obviously a lot more cushion here, the insole and everything is better. And then if you look here, the padding around the ankle is actually a lot more on this shoe than it is for this shoe. And what that's gonna do for you is if you have one of those shoes that's, you know, crappy, it's, it doesn't have good enough padding, you know, it's pretty flat, doesn't give you good support and everything. Whenever you go out for a run, you know, if you're running outside on concrete, you're going to run at higher risk of actually getting injured just because of running. So running itself, you know, if you're first starting out, you know, your body might not be used to that. So you want to make sure that you have a good pair of running shoes because your body is not used to it. I mean, you know, sometimes I'll go to the gym and I'll wear those shoes on the, uh, the Nike shoes. I'll use those on like my squats days or my deadlift days or whatever, where I'm actually going to do things where I need more of a flat shoe. And then every now and then I might try to run on the treadmill or something with it. And I still, you, I don't want to run with those shoes because they're just not made for running. There's a lot of Nike shoes, the Nike free runs that a lot of people use for running and they're really not that great of running shoes. Even though they're called free runs, they're not that great of running shoes for what you are probably trying to do, which is trying to join the military. You're probably trying to increase your running to where you're running over 10 miles a week, something along those lines. The Nike free runs aren't really the way to go. The other shoes that I have that are Nike, it's not Brooks, so if you don't wanna buy some Asics or some Brooks or something like that, uh, these are the shoes that I've been running. I actually have two of these, but I've put at least, at least 200 miles in both of my shoes. So I have a black pair and a white pair, and these are the Nike Lunar Epic Flyknit 2s. And I think they're about 80 bucks or so, 70 or 80 bucks or so at the Nike outlet, they've been on a clearance sale for that. So if you can find these, 
I think these are an awesome pair of running shoes, especially if you're kind of around the 10 mile a week kind of deal. So they're pretty comfortable, but for me this time around, I just wanted to go with some Brooks. I've never had some Brooks before, and I actually really like these. So the, the, the emphasis here that I'm trying to put on is, is not go out and buy some Brooks, not go out and buy that specific Nike shoe, because I do like the Nike Lunar Epics, that's why I bought two of them. Uh, but the thing here is, don't use just whatever shoe you have. If you're trying to take running seriously and you're going to be doing a lot of running and you're really trying to improve it and you don't want to get shin splints and stuff like that, you know, buying a good pair of shoes is an investment. So that is it for today's video. Just a quick little one just telling you guys, reminding you that shoes are actually really important. It's not just going out and putting in the miles and stuff like that because you could just put in the miles wearing the wrong shoes and you're going to get hurt. Your chin's gonna be hurting, you're gonna have to take you know, a week off or something from running. So if you bought the right pair of shoes and you had the right pair of shoes for running, then that might not ever happen and you can just keep on going uh, along with your running and you're not gonna run into some of those issues. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. That would be awesome. If you wanna check out some more videos, hit the subscribe button. That would be even better if you guys are not following me on Instagram and Snapchat. Social media links are right here. I hope you guys have an amazing Sunday and I will see you uh, later. Yeah.